Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel. Kumara, sweet potato. Chips, thinly sliced sweet potatoes fried until crispy, often served with various seasonings or sauces. Kumara refers to sweet potatoes, which are commonly cultivated and enjoyed in various regions, including the Pacific Islands, New Zealand, and parts of Polynesia. Kamara is a staple food in the Solomon Islands and holds cultural significance. These sweet potatoes come in different colors, including orange, purple, and white varieties, and they are rich in nutrients and versatile in cooking. Here are a few key points about Kamara. Varieties. Kamara comes in various types, each with its distinct flavor and texture. The orange variety is moist and sweet, while the purple one tends to be drier and less sweet. Nutritional value. Kumara is a nutritious root vegetable rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. It contains antioxidants, vitamins A and C, potassium, and other essential nutrients. Culinary uses. Kumara is a versatile ingredient used in both sweet and savory dishes. It can be roasted, boiled, mashed, or fried. It's commonly used in soups, stews, salads, curries, and as a side dish. Preparation. In the Solomon Islands, Kamara is often prepared as a side dish by boiling, roasting, or frying it. Kamara chips, thinly sliced sweet potatoes fried until crispy, are a popular snack. Cultural significance. Kamara holds cultural importance in traditional ceremonies and celebrations in the Solomon Islands and other Pacific Island nations. It's often included in feasts and special occasions. Availability. Kumara is readily available in local markets throughout the Solomon Islands and is a part of the local diet due to its abundance and nutritional value. Grilled seafood skewers. Skewers with marinated fish, shrimp, or lobster grilled over open flames. Grilled seafood skewers are a delightful and flavorful dish commonly enjoyed in various regions, including the Solomon Islands. These skewers are versatile and can include a variety of seafood, such as fish, shrimp, lobster, or squid, seasoned and grilled to perfection. Here's a simple recipe for grilled seafood skewers. Ingredients. One pound assorted seafood, fish chunks, shrimp, lobster, squid, etc. Two tablespoons olive oil or melted butter, two cloves garlic, minced one tablespoon lemon juice, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon dried herbs, such as thyme, oregano, or rosemary, salt and pepper to taste wooden or metal skewers. Instructions. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for at least 30 minutes to prevent burning during grilling. Prepare the seafood by cleaning and cutting it into bite-sized pieces suitable for skewering. In a mixing bowl, combine the olive oil or melted butter, minced garlic, lemon juice, paprika, dried herbs, salt, and pepper to create a marinade. Add the seafood pieces to the marinade, ensuring they are evenly coated. Let the seafood marinate for about 15, 30 minutes to absorb the flavors. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Thread the marinated seafood onto the skewers, alternating between different types of seafood if using a variety. Leave a little space between each piece for even cooking. Place the skewers on the preheated grill and cook for about three, four minutes per side, or until the seafood is cooked through and has grill marks, being careful not to overcook. Occasionally, brush the skewers with any remaining marinade while grilling for extra flavor and moisture. Once the seafood is grilled to your desired doneness, remove the skewers from the grill. Serve the grilled seafood skewers hot with a squeeze of lemon juice and garnish with fresh herbs if desired. Island-style BBQ. 
grilled meat such as chicken, pork, or beef, cooked with local spices and marinades, island-style BBQ, commonly found in the Solomon Islands and across the Pacific region, often involves grilling or barbecuing meats or seafood using local flavors and cooking techniques. Here's an outline of how island-style BBQ is typically prepared. Ingredients. Meats or seafood. Chicken, pork, beef, fish, shrimp, or other seafood are commonly used. Marinade or seasoning. Local spices, herbs, soy sauce, coconut milk, lime or lemon juice, garlic, ginger, and sometimes chili peppers for added heat. Optional sides or accompaniments. Rice, tropical fruit salsas, grilled vegetables, or salads. Preparation and cooking. Marinade. Preparation. Create a marinade using a mixture of local spices, herbs, and liquid ingredients like soy sauce, coconut milk, or citrus juices. For example, a marinade might include a combination of crushed garlic, minced ginger, soy sauce, coconut milk, lime juice, and a dash of chili pepper for heat. Marinating the meat or seafood. Coat the meat or seafood generously with the prepared marinade, allowing it to marinate for at least 30 minutes to several hours, refrigerated, for the flavors to infuse. Grilling or barbecuing. Preheat the grill to medium-high heat. Cook the marinated meats or seafood on the grill, turning occasionally to ensure even cooking and to achieve a charred, smoky flavor. Cooking times vary depending on the type and thickness of the meat or seafood being cooked. Basting. During the grilling process, occasionally baste the meats or seafood with any remaining marinade or a separate basting sauce to keep them moist and flavorful. Serving. Once the meats or seafood are cooked through and have reached the desired doneness, remove them from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes. Serve the island-style BBQ hot, accompanied by rice, salads, or grilled vegetables. Tropical fruit skewers. Skewers with a mix of fresh tropical fruits like pineapple, mango, papaya, and banana. Tropical fruit skewers are a colorful and refreshing treat commonly found in tropical regions like the Solomon Islands. These skewers showcase a variety of fresh, ripe tropical fruits, offering a delightful burst of flavors. Here's a simple guide to preparing tropical fruit skewers. Ingredients. Assorted tropical fruits. Choose a variety of fruits, such as pineapple, mango, papaya, kiwi, banana, strawberries, and any other tropical fruits available. Wooden or metal skewers. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for 30 minutes to prevent burning during grilling. Preparation. Prepare the fruits. Wash and peel the fruits as necessary. Cut them into bite-sized pieces suitable for skewering. Remove seeds and tough cores. Assembling the skewers. Thread the assorted fruit pieces onto the skewers, alternating between different fruits to create colorful and visually appealing skewers. Leave a little space between the pieces to prevent them from sticking together. Optional marination or glazing. While not necessary, you can brush the fruit skewers with a glaze made from honey, lime juice, or a light syrup for extra sweetness and flavor. Serving options. Grilling. For an added twist, you can grill the fruit skewers on a barbecue or grill pan for a minute or two on each side until they get grill marks. Grilling caramelizes the natural sugars in the fruits, enhancing their sweetness and providing a smoky flavor. Fresh serving. Alternatively, serve the fruit skewers fresh without grilling. They can be enjoyed as a healthy and refreshing snack or dessert. Cocoa bean snacks. Roasted cocoa beans seasoned with spices, providing a unique local snack. 
cocoa bean snacks or roasted cocoa beans are a delightful and flavorful treat found in various regions, including the Solomon Islands, where cocoa is a significant agricultural product. These snacks involve roasting cocoa beans to bring out their rich flavors. Here's a basic method for preparing cocoa bean snacks. Ingredients. Raw cocoa beans. Obtain fresh, unroasted cocoa beans. Preparation. Cleaning and sorting. Start by cleaning the cocoa beans. Remove any debris or stones and rinse the beans thoroughly under cold water. Dry them completely using a clean cloth or paper towels. Roasting process. Preheat your oven to around 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 degrees Celsius. Single layer on baking sheet. Spread the cleaned and dried cocoa beans in a single layer on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or silicone baking mat. Ensure the beans are evenly distributed to allow uniform roasting. Roasting time. Place the baking sheet in the preheated oven and roast the cocoa beans for approximately 20, 30 minutes, stirring occasionally or shaking the tray to ensure even roasting. Keep a close eye on them to prevent burning. Checking for doneness. The cocoa beans are done when they turn a darker shade and emit a rich, chocolatey aroma. Keep in mind that roasting times may vary depending on the oven and the desired roast level. Cooling and removing husks. Once roasted, remove the cocoa beans from the oven and let them cool. After cooling, the beans can be shelled or cracked to remove the outer husks. Some people prefer consuming roasted cocoa beans with the husks intact for added texture and flavor. Storage. Store the roasted cocoa beans in an airtight container once they've cooled completely. They can be kept at room temperature for several weeks, allowing you to enjoy them as a snack whenever desired. Serving suggestions. Enjoy the roasted cocoa beans as a standalone snack, similar to nuts or trail mix, for a flavorful and slightly bitter taste. Add them to trail mix, yogurt, granola, or baked goods for a crunchy and chocolatey element. Incorporate them into recipes, such as energy bars, homemade chocolate, or desserts for added texture and depth of flavor.